and welcome back to City Self-Sufficiency. In this episode, we're just going to be taking a really quick look at how I candle my eggs. Now, you can use specialist equipment if you want to go to the expense of buying it. Personally, I don't think it's worth it, not unless you're going to be candling an awful lot of eggs. So, in the case of what I use, these are two different sizes of eggs. You've got your standard large, and then this is a little bantam egg on the side, just to show that it works with different sizes. This is a mould that I use, it's just a little gemstone egg this is, but you can use anything that's roughly eggish sort of shaped or anything that's circular or even one of the eggs themselves if you've not got something like that available. I use a little bit of clay, this is just children's plasticine, non-toxic, not going to do any damage to anything, doesn't dry out, always mouldable. And then I use my mobile phone, I don't bother using, as I say, specialist equipment. So, just get set up now and I'll show you how I do it. So first things first, we'll just take our clay, put that to one side, and we just need to quickly roll it out into a little donut shape. What we're doing here is we're just making a cradle that the egg can sit in comfortably and block out all the light so that it's only going to be shining through the eggs. I mean, the point of candling your eggs is that you want it, you want, you want the light to shine through the egg to illuminate what is inside so that you can see if you've got a chick in there. So there's the light on. I put the flashlight on on my phone. Just pop that on that. And then I use my little mould. Stick it on. Wedge it round. Basically to the point that you can see that no light is now escaping out the sides. You can see that everything that's there is going to be going only up under the egg itself. Release that one off. Now I'll just dim the lights and pop our eggs on. Right, so I've turned the lights down now so that we can see the light once it goes illuminating into the eggs and we'll just pop each one on in turn. There's the littlest one, you can see that one's light shining through all sides. We can see quite clearly, obviously, there's nothing in these eggs. These ones aren't fertile. You can see how it works. There's the little one and then there's the big one. So you can see them glowing. We could easily see if there was a chick inside and that's just how I candle my eggs and then later on we'll be taking a look at the ones that we popped in the incubator earlier to see if we've got any chicks growing in there. So here we are, end of the day. It's um, in my spare room actually, is where I've got the eggs incubating at the moment. I've got my egg candler set up here, incubator on the side. So this, the eggs have been in here for coming on to 15 days now they've been in there. So you can start candling eggs from about the seventh day, but I wouldn't really bother going with any earlier than that. It's really hard to tell whether there's any chicks inside there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through the eggs, candle them, find out which ones have got chicks in, which ones don't. And then we'll continue incubating the ones which have got chicks in and not bother keeping the ones that don't. So key here is to do this as quickly as you possibly can. You don't want the eggs to be out of the incubator for very long. You just want to go through them systematically, one at a time, checking each one, and then we'll see what we've got by the end. So, let's get started. So, egg one. That's a clear egg, that one is. There's nothing in that one, so that one was infertile. Pop that one to one side. Next one. Ah, now, there we go. You see that? This is the air sac down at the bottom. And all the rest of the egg, as you can see, is completely filled up. So there is a chick in that one. We've got a live one. Next. That's another clear egg. I'm just going to run through them quite quickly now. Closer look at that one. So, can I very faintly see down at the bottom there's a line at the base. So, I'm hoping there's a chick in that one. And that's another absolutely definite. We can see nice and clearly where the air sac is at in that one and where the chick will be on the other side. So, pop him back in again. And there we go, that's our eggs candled. 
just to go back over these two so you can see that they're completely illuminating right the way throughout in fact you can see the yolk moving around inside that one just about so that's definitely not got a chicken same for that one So I'll keep them out of the incubator now. There's no point in them staying in there with the remaining three. And hopefully, in a few days' time, I'll have three little chicks hatching out. For now, though, that's how you candle your eggs. As I say, you only need to do so once. There's no point keeping on getting them in and out of the incubator once they're candled. Just leave them to one side. If they're infertile, you can get rid of them. And we'll come back in a few days and have a look at our little chickies when they hatch out. Mm -hmm.